Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, salut à tous, ici Clément pour le web toulousain, on est à Imaginaire, la petite boutique fan d'Harry Potter à Toulouse. Il y a en ce moment même le comédien britannique Adrian Rawlings qui joue le rôle de James Potter et on me dit à l'instant dans l'oreillette qu'il a accepté de répondre à quelques-unes de nos questions. Venez avec moi. Adrian Rawlings, bonjour. Merci de répondre à cette interview. Vous êtes venu à Toulouse aujourd'hui et à Imaginaire pour rencontrer votre public. Comment ça s'est passé cette journée It's been really nice actually. I've, I've enjoyed it. It's, uh, been, it's been a non-stop flow of, of, of very, very nice people. We've had some, some lovely talks and uh, yeah, I've had a good day. I've had a good day. I got taken out to a nice, uh, for a nice lunch. So I ain't got no complaints. Vous êtes connu pour avoir joué le rôle de James Potter dans la saga Harry Potter. Est-ce que vous connaissiez les romans avant de tourner dans le premier volet uh, Just the first. Just the first book. Um, I hadn't read the book and I got the interview. So I kind of, uh, I was living in London and I could see everybody was reading the book on the tube, you know. Uh, but I, I hadn't read it. So as soon as I got the interview, got the book. <laughs> Quick, uh, yeah, a quick read, um, and uh, yeah, I, I, I got the job. And then, when the books would come out, I'd get the books and go, "Well, oh, is, <laughs> is James Potter in the books? You know, maybe I, am I going to be in the films?" Um, so yeah, I mean, um, yeah, I read the first one before the interview, but I guess, I guess, nobody would have imagined how. How it would go on, and you know, eight films later, it's insane. <laughs> yeah. Vous avez joué dans la quasi-totalité des films en 10 ans. Est-ce que vous vous souvenez de la première scène que vous avez tournée dans le premier volet en 2001? I don't remember yesterday, let alone uh, my memory's going. Um, well, one of the pretty sure, if it wasn't the first thing I filmed, it was pretty close, and that was the mirror of Erised. So that was the first time that I think I properly met Daniel. Um, I knew Geraldine before who played Lily. Um, and yeah, it was lovely because it was the first time we were together as a family. And yeah, we, we, we felt like a family. We felt like a family and, and, and Daniel was lovely and I thought, Yeah, yeah, I'd be proud to have him as my son. So I, th I, I think, I think that was, I think that was the first film, the uh, first scene that we filmed. On sait que actuellement Warner Bros se consacre à la saga des animaux fantastiques. Si un jour prochain il reprenait les aventures de Harry Potter au cinéma, est-ce que ça vous intéresserait de reprendre le rôle de James Potter, soit sous la forme d'un fantôme, soit sous la forme d'un flashback? Yeah, of course, of course I would. Um, I, I, I don't think it's going to happen though. I think, um, I mean, apparently they're, 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 they've got five Fantastic Beasts films lined up, I don't know. Um, I think Harry Potter's, you've got to leave it. Um, but listen, I'm an actor, you know, if, if it's a job, it's a job, <laughs> I'll do it, definitely. Uh, but I'm not holding my breath on that one. En dehors de Harry Potter, vous avez joué dans la série télé euh, Tchernobyl cette année, qui retrace cette histoire de cette catastrophe nucléaire. Comment vous en êtes arrivé à ce projet-là Qu'est-ce qui vous a intéressé Qu'est-ce qui vous a donné envie de le faire um, Well, it was uh, as with most uh, potential jobs, uh, my agent rang and uh, and uh, said, would I be interested, and sent me the script. I read the script, and the script I just thought was absolutely wonderful, amazing. And I remember Chernobyl in 1986, um, so I had, you know, quite an understanding of it. But the the script revealed oh, just things that I couldn't possibly imagine. Uh, about about Chernobyl um, and, and the script was so good I, I just I like many actors who ended up on Chernobyl I think they just wanted to be involved 
in in any way and uh I auditioned. I was I was very lucky. I had a recall, and and uh, yeah, I, I was really really thrilled to get that job because I, I did feel from the script it was it was a really uh, special project. Et dernière question, quels sont vos prochains projets? Um, well, at the moment I'm 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 filming something called a Discovery of Witches, which is uh, it's on Sky and it's. Uh, It's a drama uh, based on the books by Deborah Hark Harkness, and it's about witches and vampires. And it's got time travel in as well. They go back to the Elizabethan <laughs> times, and I play a character called William Cecil, mm -hmm. who was the main advisor to Queen Elizabeth I. Uh, so it so it sort of nips back to Elizabethan times, and uh, yeah, at the moment I'm 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 finishing that off, and I'm. I'm also doing a, a little bit on a project um, about the Windrush generation um, uh, it's set in the 70s. So, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm ticking along and uh, who knows what's around the corner. And, you know, fingers crossed that it keeps, it keeps, uh, keeps working out. Yeah. Adrian Rollins, merci beaucoup. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Et voilà, cette vidéo se termine là pour aujourd'hui. J'espère qu'elle vous a plu. N'hésitez pas à mettre un petit commentaire pour me dire ce que vous en avez pensé. N'oubliez pas de rejoindre la page Facebook du Web Toulousain ainsi que leur site officiel. Et quant à moi, je vais vous laisser ici et vous dire à très très vite dans le Cinéclem. Ciao